What if you live somewhere else, right? What if you live somewhere where there's no ocean views? Is this a style that we should even be trying to bring into our homes in the first place? There's just this feeling of sea and air and that feeling of hope that something new is on its way. It's just like, oh, I want it. I was just looking at it and I was like, I want it. Well, hello and welcome back to the House of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today we are gonna be dissecting a new style, one that has been really growing in popularity and that is Pacific Coast style. Now, I don't think that California style is one that's new. I mean, we all just love California, right? And there's something about when spring, summer hits, there's just something about California that we just, all love that laid back living. We love this lifestyle. There's just something about it. We just can't help it. But this Pacific Coast style is a little bit different. And I think it's really interesting. And I noticed that Crate and Barrel was talking about it and they had given a really good breakdown of the style and how to, sorry, my coffee's getting hot. <laughs> They were giving a good breakdown on how you can actually uh, use this style and how to recreate these looks. And I thought it'd be a lot of fun for us to chat about it and see if it's something that we think is a great style and one that we're ready to jump onto. So I hope you'll hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. And also remember, we have entire video playlists of interior design, if you love trends, if you love to be able to see makeovers, before and afters, we have all those on this channel. And we just have an amazing community where we just love to chat about design and what's in, what's out, and we get to decide whether it's something we wanna be a part of or maybe it's something that we're just gonna pass on. So today should be a whole lot of fun. I can't wait. Let's jump in and let's chat about Pacific Coast style. Okay, so when I got on Crate and Barrel the other day, I've been doing some shopping and some sourcing, and oh, Crate and Barrel is just a great place, right, to shop as it is. But then I saw that they had this Pacific Coastal style, and I was like, now that is interesting. That's a different kind of name, and it just grabbed my attention. And I thought, what is going on here? What are we What are we having a chat about? Because I don't know about you, but I have a lot of fond memories related to California. As a little girl, I went for the first time when I was seven, and I just remember feeling like I had landed, like, in a completely different place. And it was very different from Atlanta. And the feeling was just this sort of, I don't know, like there's like an optimism to me, always in the coastal California kind of style. There's just this feeling of sea and air and that feeling of hope that something new is on its way. And I just always love that about California. And so this Pacific Coast style is really interesting because it really has its own color palette. It has its own, uh, it has its own materials. And we're gonna break down all of that because what I think is most interesting is that a lot of times you hear, okay, Pacific Coast style. Well, if you're living in the Pacific Coast, this style is great. I mean, if you've got the ocean right outside the door, you've got this amazing view of the landscape, of course, of course, this style is gonna look amazing in your house. But what if you live in the middle of America? <laughs> What if you live somewhere else, right? What if you live somewhere where there's no ocean views? Is this a style that we should even be trying to bring into our homes in the first place? I think so, but let me back up for just a minute. Let's talk about all those little pieces that make this style what it is, and let's decide in the end whether it's something we should bring into our home. The number one thing, of course, is location. It's near the water, and I think that that does play a very big role in the style. I think that the the water, the color of the coast with, with those rich, rusty colors with the, almost like a canyon kind of orange and a little bit of rusty red, those brown, those browns that are so deep that they're almost black and those really rich blues. I think that that all plays into the location. And I think that with the location comes this color palette that's really based on where it's from. In addition to that, it's also about certain materials. You've got a lot of wood, you've got a lot of clay, you've got a lot of stone, you've got relaxed cottons, you've got linens. This entire style is all about relaxed vibes, it's very chill, and yet there's also this sort of sophistication to it as well. You've got really beautiful proportions. You really see the influence of mid-century design because of course that that's what my godmother's house looked like when I went to visit her when I was seven. And I just remember thinking I'd never seen a house like hers before. And I was 
fascinated by it. She had the sunken living room. I, I don't have pictures, I wish that I did. She had between the living room and the bedroom a glass walkway and on either side outside the glass you could see outside and there was all this beautiful greenery that was there and you were literally in a garden and i i've always loved that feature this feeling of bringing the outside in is something that i think has stayed with california style all these oh God, decades later, right? It's been a long time. And I think that the mid-century aspect of it, I think you still feel that too. There is definitely a blending of styles and of eras. And I think that there's something really, really modern about it. And yet unequivocally steeped in that history of California as well. I think it's extraordinary. When you look at the pieces and what the style is including, I think a lot of us tend to look at the furniture first. What kind of furniture pieces can I expect in this style? I think the style is really interesting because it isn't necessarily based off of mid-century. You're, you, you're going to see a lot of really clean line, really just sort of comfy, modern sofas. You're gonna see big chunky tables that are really kind of heavy feeling in a way, but they're done in materials that are really light. And so there's this balance of scale. Scale is really scaled up for sure in this size. It doesn't mean you can't scale it down for your own place. But you know, when we're looking at the overall style, we're trying to get a general feel for what we're talking about scaling up using natural materials like wood, travertine, marble. You're gonna have pieces that are really, really oversized, bigger arms balanced with I mean, a plinth table. We've got something nice and chunky to go with it. You've got oversized chairs that look like they'd just be really sumptuous just to sink down into and just relax. These are the kinds of feelings that you're getting for the living room and the bedroom is no different. You're gonna look for those classic modern pieces balanced with cottons and linens. You might want a wood headboard, you might want something upholstered, but you're definitely going to have a combination of all of those materials in each of your spaces. When you move on to the kitchen, it's no different. The kitchen is amazing. I think one of the points that was really interesting to me that Crate and Barrel pointed out was that there was the designer kitchen. They called it the design fan kitchen. And I think that's really interesting because of course we know that California is always known for great design and a lot of design enthusiasts do live in California. I mean, that's a huge generalization because I live here in Atlanta and I'm a design enthusiast. So you can live anywhere, but I do think that there is a focus on that that new fresh design that seems to always just come out of California. And I think it's interesting that they've made a point of it and that they put so much wood into that kitchen. I think all those things are really interesting. They really point to a lot of different aspects of this style. Then we can break it down even further. Let's talk about some of the points that Crate and Barrel made about this. One of the points that I thought was really interesting was about storage. And I thought at first, that's really weird. <laughs> It's really bizarre. Why would they make a point about storage while they're talking about how to nail a style? But actually, if you really think about it, it totally makes sense because all these pictures, everything they're showing us is laid back, it's relaxed, and there's not very much clutter, right? So Crate and Barrel isn't trying to suggest to you that you don't have things. They're suggesting that you have good storage. I think that's really interesting because in Scandinavian style, they suggest that you have less stuff. <laughs> And they're saying here with this Pacific Coast style, actually storage is key. You might wanna have a wooden cabinet. You might wanna make sure that you have great dressers. You might wanna have a media cabinet that has really good storage, closed storage, storage where you're not looking at all of your stuff. And then in the kitchen, they went the opposite direction and they have a ton of open shelving. So I think that this style is, it's definitely paired back. It's definitely more minimal in the way that you're going to see it. But I do think that giving us permission to have our stuff by telling us that we can have our storage too, I think that makes this style a lot more appealing. At least it does for me. Another point that Crate and Barrel brought up was the new livable color. I think that's almost like, for me, it's almost a little bit too, like, I don't know, like it's too expected. I don't think that you have to base a style necessarily off of the color palette of the landscape. I think that you can take from those things, but here they're showing you, again, that sort of orange 
tones. They're calling these colors spice orange, cider burgundy, you've got cafe white, you've also got a dark teal. I think that you can 100% use those colors if you really love those colors. Bring it in, not just through like the bowls and the plates right in the kitchen. You're gonna wanna bring it in through some cushions. You're gonna wanna bring it in through some accessories. You'll wanna bring it in through a throw, maybe some bedding. I really love when a home just flows throughout, right? Like you have a cohesive feeling throughout your entire home, or you could always just do like a bedroom, like one little area that kind of has this style. If you don't wanna do the entire house in, in one, in one theme, right? In one color palette. But I do think that that color palette is, if you love color, you're gonna love it. And if you're like me and you're not as big of a fan of the color, you might err on the side of those pale white linens, some of the really, really watery, almost washed out blue colors that they're showing you in the pillows, and focusing more on those colors from that coastal style. I think one of the best parts of this entire style is the indoor outdoor life. I think that's what we really all, why we gravitate towards these coastal styles at this time of year. I think it's just really appealing. And I think whether you're gonna be living on the lake or if you're gonna be living on the beach or even if you're just in the middle of, a, in the, in the middle of the suburbs, this is a style that really encourages indoor outdoor living and I think that's something that just all of us seem to just crave at this time of year. And so if you find yourself craving that sort of feeling, easy ways of doing that are of course bring the outside in in your color palette. For me I have a, a, a wooded lot that I'm sitting on and I have a lot of green. So if I was going to take this advice, right, I would need to bring, bring, bring I would need to bring green inside rather than blue. And so I think it's really interesting when you look at a style like this and you say is this a style that's going to work for me? If if I don't live on the coast, I think it does. I think it's okay to bring blue in because we have the blue sky all around us. There is definitely a feeling of sky in all of these things and I think that that's where I would have a lot of fun with this style. I could really see myself personally bringing this in, bringing in, I, I just literally wanna order all the pillows. Honestly, just stay tuned, I might just order them. I think it'd be really fun to have that relaxed feel. I still think that it can be extremely sophisticated. I think that overall the style is more modern and it is extremely relaxed. And I know in my own home, I tend to wear blazers rather than always being in like a flowy dress, right? Like I think you have to think about your own style and how this would fit into your style. So for me, I have sofas that are a little bit more like sophisticated feeling. They're a little less relaxed than what you're seeing in the photos there. That doesn't, right? So you might not want to buy all new furniture. You might, if you really love the style, you might wanna go buy new sofas and chairs and you may wanna do your whole bed and all of your bed in the entire room around this style and really create this relaxed vibe. Or you could also think about maybe bringing in some of these elements into your current style. So for me, pillows would be a big one. I think that those pillows are gorgeous. I could totally see those sitting on my sofa, really bringing in that sort of relaxed feeling into my space for the new season. I think the rugs are another key aspect to look at at this style. There's definitely a feeling of that more relaxed, natural, natural fibers in those rugs, and they're not super busy either. It's really all about very, being very calm, very relaxed, very chilled out, and you see you see that in the rugs, you see it in the pillows, you also see it in the artwork in this style. This style is all about being simple and laid back, but you can also have some great artwork on your wall. I think having some wood frames really does stick right to the style, but for me, I love a black frame. So I might put maybe some artwork inside of that that has a little bit more of a relaxed, watery feel if I was replicating this in my own home. Another fun way to bring this style into your home is to look at the accessories. That's where you can very easily adapt your style and to more of a summery kind of feel because this style does feel like quintessential summer to me. And I think that's why it's just like, oh, I want it. I was just looking at it and I was like, I want it. It's not even my color palette, but I want it. What is it? How do I do this? Okay, so I can't go and just get rid of all of my furniture. Most of us can't do that. I can buy a vase made with a volcanic glaze. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love that vase. I'm freaking out over it. You might see that appearing here before too long. Add that in with those pillows. Think about some of the really light throws and you can see how very quickly 
you're just gonna suddenly wanna be wearing linen. We're gonna switch out this blazer. Let's have a linen blazer on and you can really make your space feel relaxed very quickly. So I do think, I think this is a style that we can 100% bring into our homes even if we aren't living on the coast of California. I mean, who wouldn't love to have that view, right? That really is spectacular and very appealing. But I do think that this style is gonna look great anywhere. You could 100% bring in one of those beautiful wood beds and create an entire design around it. You've got black options. You've got a pale wood option. You can mix those together. You've got beautiful artwork to choose from, gorgeous vases, lots of greenery also in this as well. Lay down a gorgeous rug, fill the bed with pillows, fill the sofa with pillows. I think that you can really quickly get on this style. Is anybody else like, gosh, I just need a beach house. <laughs> I just need another house. Let's do that. That sounds amazing. Uh, yeah, so I hope that this has left you feeling super inspired. I know it has for me. I am excited. I'm excited to shop at Crate and Barrel this season. I think that this style is gorgeous. I'm just looking through it one more time and I'm like, yeah, it, it's just, it just feels like summer. It feels like summer, it feels hopeful. It feels like something you just want to bring into your home and you just wanna be a part of it. And I think that's what's so cool is that whether you're designing your entire home around it or you're just bringing in some of these elements, it is 100% something that I think that we can all enjoy. And it just gets me excited. It gets me excited about the weather warming up and bringing, and, and that life that you really live during these seasons, I think that that's why we just all want summer to last forever when it comes, like, like when it comes to the end, you're just like, you just want summer to last forever. And I think this is why, because you just love the way that you live, grilling out, having beautiful dishware, having a gorgeous outdoor setting, feeling like your life, the way it connects to the indoors, you come in, you've got these just, really just relaxed feelings in your home and you just feel like this is meant for bare feet, maybe a little slide, <laughs> right? And you're meant to just enjoy and soak in the sun and soak in that gorgeous weather and I think that's why this style it's just amazing and why I just couldn't help but tell you guys about it. So there you go. I'm gonna leave all the links for these items where I found the pages from Crate and Barrel. If you wanna shop, I'm gonna leave you a list of the items that I am just freaking out over. See if you can beat me to them. <laughs> There might be a Crate and Barrel haul coming very soon. I can't wait. I just love it. I think it's really fun. It's really fun to switch things out for a new season. At the moment, my home is switched out because we are working with uh, Saks Fifth Avenue to do a, a completely different style at our home. And I just think that that's what's fun. I hope it's fun for you to show you how just switching out your key accessories in your space can give you a new look. If you would like to see the Saks Fifth Avenue live event, it's actually been recorded and you can actually go back and watch it. So I will leave a link for that as well because this is a very different style in the room at the moment than the one we've been talking about. But I feel like I could just as easily grab those things from Crate and Barrel, bring them into my home and have a completely different look. And I might just do that. I might just do that. So stay tuned and hit subscribe. And thank you so much for joining me. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. See you then. Bye.